Hey guys, this is Bharatwaj with phoneorena.com and today we have a special comparison for you. So both these devices are Nexus 5s. Recently Google announced the Android 4.4.2 update for the Nexus 5 with improvements for the camera in terms of truer colors, faster shot to shot speeds and of course uh, better performance in terms of blur and optical image stabilization. Is that true? We are going to find out. So as you can see the one on the left is running on 4.4.2 and the on the right is running on 4.4. So the camera is the main difference here. So first let's test the shot to shot speed. Both these phones are kept on the same surface and it's of course a dark condition. You will actually not be able to take a photo in this condition but let's quickly see how challenging it is for both these cameras, uh, different cameras arguably. 4.4.2, uh, 4.4 to take uh, photos. Which one takes it faster? Let's see. One, two, three, go. So obviously this one finished first and this one finished second. Both the photos as you can see are off the table. This is dark and this is uh, bright unfortunately or surprisingly. Uh, it's just flat on the table. But anyway both these photos when you compare to the short to short times we think the 4.4.2 wins. You can see again consistently 4.4.2 uh, wins in terms of short to short speed even in extreme conditions. So that's exactly what we had wanted and it's good to see that it's uh, coming. It has come in the Nexus 5 with 4.4.2. But otherwise there are also other changes Google promises like for example uh, truer colors which means better white balance for the scene. The Nexus 5 used to be a little bit warmer uh, in comparison with other phones. So that is apparently fixed on the Nexus 5 running 4.4.2 and uh, we hope to see a lot more. So we took them out for the spin, uh, both these devices out for a spin. Uh, we took several samples, uh, a couple of them in low light and in daylight and even in macro conditions to see whether the uh, changes are visible or not. So let's take a look at all these samples and then we'll let you know our opinions on the changes. So as you saw from the samples, uh, the 4.4.2 running Nexus 5 takes much better photos in terms of color rendition. So it does have true colors indeed, this one. Uh, the truer colors on the sky photos or on the building photos, all the photos have much better colors on the 4.4.2 running Nexus 5 than the 4.4. It is still a bit warm on the older version. and uh, we think it's a very much needed improvement. Also, as you uh, can notice in the closer crops, the algorithms too have slightly changed. So uh, the older Nexus 5 or the Nexus 5 running the older version 4.4 has a little bit of sharpening and uh, noise going on, on in all of its photos, even in daylight photos. But on the Nexus 5 running 4.4.2, the noise 
reduction is much better. The noise is further reduced. It does make the furrow a little bit softer, but it's more natural than what the Nexus 5 running 4.4 can produce, which is pretty good, we think. And otherwise, as you saw already, the short to short times are better on the 4.4.2 and autofocus is very slightly faster, but we still find it annoying in macro mode. In low light, again, the 4.4.2 trumps the 4.4 in terms of color reproduction and noise performance. We think these two are the key factors in the 4.4.2 update. Truer colors, better noise reproduction or better noise reduction. So uh, that's what Google has promised and has delivered in the 4.4.2 update of the Nexus 5. So if you own a Nexus 5, don't forget to upgrade to 4.4.2. It'll bring you a better camera, uh, better short to short, with better short to short speeds, truer colors and better noise reduction. Well, of course, we tested out video too and we found it really peculiar uh, in both the samples. We'll tell you what uh, you see the sample first. Hey guys, this is a test video sample for a quick comparison between the Android 4.4.2 running Nexus 5 and the earlier Android 4.4 running Nexus 5. So uh, both are on top of each other. So you may be seeing different angles here. Let me just try to correct that. This is almost uh, all right, I guess. So yeah, that's the video sample. Both have optical image stabilization enabled. And uh, I'm just walking around to see if there's going to be any difference. Well, let's find out then. Let's see if the audio also makes a difference because both have omnidirectional mics which makes it very really nice uh, as we saw in the review. As you can see here one lost autofocus and that's the 4.4.2 one. It's not getting it back and finally it got it back and also seems muted when compared with the 4.4 Nexus 5. Well as you noted from the video samples the uh, optical image stabilization on the Android 4.4.2 version seems a little bit jerkier than the 4.4 which is pretty smooth. But the colors, again the color reproduction on the 4.4.2 uh, running Nexus 5 is better. And most importantly, the audio on the 4.4.2 is much much better than on 4.4. We thought it was already really good, the omnidirectional stereo recording. But the 4.4.2 reduces the uh, noise much better than the 4.4.4 uh, uh, running Nexus 5. It's letting, uh, getting a little bit confusing here. Very hard to say 4.4 and 4.4.4, uh, 4.2. Anyway, so uh, the audio uh, noise reduction is much better on 4.4.2. So that's what we observed in terms of video and we already told you what we observed in terms of uh, stills. So for 100% resolution samples, you can check out the blog, the links are in the description below. Do check it out, we have a little bit more analysis right there in the description. Do hit the link. Alright, that's it for the video. That's me, Bharatwaj, signing off. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you find it useful. So if you did, do hit the like button. and Hit the subscribe button of course if you want more videos like these. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comment section below.